Welcome to our tech troubleshooting session. Today we're tackling a perplexing issue that many Docker users encounter. Our viewer is experiencing internet connectivity problems when running Docker on Ubuntu. Specifically, they have two different setups in two locations with different internet providers. And while one works seamlessly, the other leads to frustrating network conflicts. Let's dive into the details of their situation and explore potential solutions together. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, I'll be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution you're looking for. Guys, remember to say just a little bit crazy, just like me, and hopefully you work through to that resolution. Now, let's continue on. Let's begin by understanding the issue with Docker and your network. You mentioned that Docker creates two bridges, and one of them might be conflicting with your Wi-Fi adapter. To diagnose if the second bridge is causing the conflict, you can check the IP address ranges of both the Docker bridges and your Wi-Fi adapter. Use the command IP adder in your terminal. If the IP ranges overlap, that could be the source of your internet issues. You can change the subnet of the Docker bridge using the dash bip option when starting the Docker daemon. Now regarding the second bridge, BRMAS1A028F108D9. This is a user-defined bridge created when you run a container with a custom network. It allows containers to communicate with each other. Finally, the reason your setup works in one location but not the other could be due to differences in the network configurations of the two internet providers. Each provider may have different routing and DNS settings. Let's now look at a user suggested answer. To resolve internet access issues caused by Docker's default bridges, you need to configure Docker to use a different subnet. Add the BIP option for the Docker Zero interface and define default address pools for BRSHAR interfaces. The size determines how many Docker networks you can create. For instance, a 22 base allows for 16 networks with 26 size each. Using the Windyne 8.18.0-15 subnet is recommended as it's reserved for testing, minimizing conflict risks. Remember, the default settings grab allocations from the standard pools, which can lead to conflicts. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. This user faced a network conflict with their development PC due to Docker's bridge networks. They chose not to follow a suggested solution because it only affected their PC, while other servers remained unaffected. To resolve the issue, they implemented a workaround. First, they stopped the container using Docker Compose Down to destroy the problematic bridge. Next, 
they restarted the container while connected to the problematic network, allowing it to use a different network. Now the container remembers the last used network and avoids the bad one. And that's it. I hope it's helped find you to that resolution that you're looking for. And if it did, please just take a moment, go down, hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Now, until the next time, I hope you have a good one. Cheers.